I contacted Dr. Raymond Moody and his quote to me was, your experience is one of the most in-depth experiences I've ever heard of. It was May 2001. I got up and I went to the toilet. My ex-husband was asleep in bed. He actually woke up because he heard someone banging on the wall. It was about 2.15ish. I'm only saying two o'clock because it's in my medical files. I don't know what the time was. He came in, he found me on the toilet floor and I was already blue. Then he ran and got the phone. When he rang 9-11, it's from that moment until the first ambulance arrived, which was 14 minutes. The next thing I know, I'm floating in the living room. In my book, Five Years in Heaven, one of the drawings that I've got in there is a map of where I was. So that's where my body was and that's where I was found myself floating and all the paramedics, sheriff, etc., were coming through this door and going back around to where my body was. So there's all these people in my living room because I'm looking down at them calmly, peacefully. I looked down at myself. I still had my pyjamas on, but below my knees, it sort of dissolved into no feet. They eventually took my body out on a gurney and I saw myself and my hair was matted. It, 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 it looked like it had hair gel or something all through it. And I even thought, wow, what are they doing to her hair? And my ex-husband was the last out of the door and he locked the door and turned all the lights off. Then the door itself opened. And these blue orbs came through the front door. Some of them were little, some of them were quite large and they were dimensional. I could see through them. And in the core of them, it was like pure white energy. But then they all stopped and they all went back out the front door. It was like time to go and they were gone. The door closed. And that's when I say things got really weird. Because now I find myself in what I call the fog stage. But as soon as I open my eyes, I'm in this field of flowers. Beautiful flowers are below my feet. So as I walked... The flowers moved so I wouldn't crush them. I walked through villages. I walked past mountains. I went down past streams. I was in this place, I say, about a year and a half to two years, walking around intermingling with other people. Perspective is big in heaven. Learning how other people feel. And it's also the experience of what we think we do create. The more we think about how sick we are, oh, I've got to go to the doctors today, I need more pills. The more we are creating our body to be a mirror of those thoughts that we're creating. When I'm standing there and I'm seeing this mountain range in the distance, if I wanted to be on top of the mountains, all I had to do was think about it and I would be standing on the top of the mountains. When I was looking at the mountains, um, I could feel the mountains, like physically feel them. And when the music, I could touch it because it was everywhere. There was no speakers. It was just everywhere. It was so inviting. That's all I can explain it at. It was inviting. It was so amazing there. You know, I, I close my eyes. I can still go back there. And, and it's like it happened yesterday. It was like yesterday, even though it was 22 years ago. It's still like yesterday. I wish everybody on the planet could feel that because there'd be no wars, there'd be no hate, there'd be no getting offended if we had that glimpse. Then I get this tap on my shoulder and I believe it's the woman who's always been with me all my life who I call my angel. She says, it's time to go. And I turned around and again, I'm in the fog stage. When I come out of this fog stage, I'm standing in the front of this massive church building because that's a perspective of what I believe would happen in this place. Some people are still in the field of flowers when they face their life review. But funny enough, we all call it life review. So I walk through this church and it is enormous. And at the front, I came to these three. They're energetic beings. 
the energy was not coming down from their head, it was going up. And I can remember thinking, what do I do now? One of them said, we are not here to judge. And instantly I knew what I had to do. I had to look inside this box. I lifted the lid and inside it was infinite, no walls, no floors. But there was millions of little balls like spheres and inside each one there was a video screen. So as I pick one out and I'm holding it in my hand, I can look at memories from my past. And then I knew instantly that I had to heal why I did that action. And did I hurt someone else during that action? Learning how to feel that compassion, that understanding, and most of all, forgiveness that comes when we love ourselves and other people. I'm in my life review. And I get this tap on the shoulder again. And again, I turn around to expect to see someone and I'm back in the fog stage. And when I wake up, I'm in this white space, no walls or floors or ceiling. I'm just walking on white. And over in the distance, there's this little female. And as she walks, she's getting closer and closer. She's getting bigger and bigger. She comes up to me and she's, she's very angry. Why are you here for? You shouldn't be here. And I'm taken aback because everything's been so nice up until here. She says, you're not allowed to be here. You've got to go back. I said, how can I go back when I don't know where I've been? And she said, I love her. And she's like fixing herself up. You know, she's, she's doing a face, dressing, putting a dress down. She says, look, my name is Corina and I am your great, 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 great grandmother. She starts telling me about her life back in the early 1800s. Everything in depth for hours but then she said wait now i've got to tell you about you she told me that i would work with the police for 10 years and i laughed i said how can i with all my health issues you know at that point i still had my broken neck which i broke when i was 20. she told me about earthquakes coming she told me about tsunamis she told me other things that were still coming in the future she told me about what's coming this year and next year but we have to get through this because in 2025, 26, we come into such a peace on the planet because people are finally waking up to what our true self is truly about. How many people now are interested in NDEs? How many people are now interested in ghosts and paranormal? We want answers as a civilization as to who we truly are. So when I was talking to Karina, she said, don't go in there. So I turned around and behind me was a tunnel. And man, did I want to go in that tunnel. It was like an attractiveness, a magnet. I was getting pulled into it. She said, Linda, if you go in there, you can't go back to your body. I said to her, how do I go back? She said, all you have to do is think about it. Because what we think, we create. So as I started to think about my house, where I'd been sleeping, the toilet where I died, I found myself waking up in hospital where they're pulling out all the tubes out of my throat. People need to know that there's more out there than what we physically see. So the more that we look at what our mind can create, that's when we start to evolve into these higher vibrational beings where we can take control of our existence. Some people say, Oh, why does all bad luck always happen to me for? Well, as soon as you say it, you've already created it. So I say, listen to what you just said. Why am I always getting bad luck? Because you just said bad luck. How about you turn that around and say, well, good luck always happens to me. Good things are coming. And watch how many good things start coming because you've just changed your mindset. The more I told myself, I am healthy, I am fit, I am strong. No more brain tumor, no more cancer, no more broken neck. This stuff's real. The more we say how great everything is, the less war we will have out there. We're all going through bad times and I'm trying to get us back to a world where we look after ourselves first so then we love everybody as well. That's that's the big message that I have for everybody. Listen to my word and become angelic. I've got books on Lulu if you go and search my name or you can come and find me on YouTube.
So thank you so much for having me today. And it's been my honor to make you the best version of who you want to be.